But hello, my loves. I'm back yet again with another DIY video for you guys. And this guy, this time I am so excited, guys, because I am turning a um, bedside potty chair into a desk chair. And this was very exciting for me because I don't know where I came up with the idea, but it's that saying turning trash into treasure you guys and i feel like it look amazing and i hope you guys like it too so let's get into this video boo. check it out so to start off with as you can see i have spray painted the chair white i didn't spray paint the seat part because that doesn't matter i have another cushion i used this in my previous video when i made a chair they are very comfortable. They're like $6.97 from Walmart. And this is the beautiful fabric I chose. I got it from Walmart as well. And it was $3.97 a yard. And I only got one also, yard. Also, you can tell from the picture that the cushion is not wide enough for the seat. So, I'm going to use this batting. I already had it. It's like $3.97, I believe, from Walmart. And I'm going to use it, roll it into pieces and just insert them on the side of the chair on both sides like i've already did previously in the video you can see one side is already done and i'm just showing you guys on this side that's all i did i didn't glue it down i just laid it in there and there you have it the seat is complete and you can't tell that it's not a complete cushion So, I already had this little fur piece of rug. I ordered it one Christmas. Thought it was going to be bigger, but it's just around the circle. So, I figured it would be great for my arms. So, I just sliced it into two using a razor. I sliced it into two pieces and used the hot glue to glue them down on my arms. Just to add a little more flair. I'm taking this project display board from Dollar Tree for $1. And this is going to make my back just to make the chair more comfortable. I cut the wings off, cut another side off just to make it even. I got these two pillows that I already had to make my cushion for my back. And this part did take me a little while because it kept slipping down. I couldn't figure out how I was gonna hold it up there. But eventually I got it. Um, it took me a couple times. I didn't want it to sit low. I wanted it to sit high just to make it actually look like more like a chair. And as you can tell in the video, it just did not want to stay. It kept slipping. I did take and hot glue the pillows down to the project board. And I'm also going to staple some of the fabric down just to try to hold it in place until I could get it secure so it doesn't move. But this gave me a run for my money, you guys. So finally, I came to the conclusion to send my daughter to the Dollar Tree to get me some zip ties. And thankfully, she came back with these big zip ties. I didn't even know they had these. I usually use the small ones, but it held it in place. As you can see in the video, I took another piece of my batting to cover the pillows just so it doesn't show the little crease dividing the pillows. And I just took my staple gun and I stapled that batting down to the project board so that it was nice and secure. And as you could tell, it is holding up perfectly, you guys. I am so happy with my chair. And once I have that complete, I'm going to take my fabric and pull it over. And I'm just going to keep playing with it until it is nice and positioned the way that I want it, that I'm comfortable with. I'm not really worried about the bottom or the back of the chair because the back of the chair is going to be to the wall. No one is going to see it. My only concern is the front of the chair. 
once I get it where I want to position, I'm going to take my staple gun and I'm going to put a lot of staples in there. Just in any part that is sticking up. And here you have it, guys. My potty chair slash chair is now finished. You cannot even tell that it was ever a potty chair. And it just adds to my desk like Oh my God, you guys, it makes it look so much better and it is so much more comfortable. It is a great height. So when I'm sitting in it, I'm sitting up. I'm not sitting low and I am just in love with it, you guys. I took a little sequin pillow that I got at the Dollar Tree and threw it up there. Here's my daughter testing out. Just let me know how comfortable it is to her as well. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys like it. Until next time, see you later.